Guys, continuing to CAC 408 playlist. In this video, we will see the MCQs of unit number 4, which is Dynamic Programming and Greedy Techniques. Very simple and very interesting unit among all the units you have in, in your syllabus. And the first question is, what is the primary characteristics of dynamic programming? Is it divide and conquer, memorization and optimal substructure, greedy approach or randomization? Correct option is option number B. Memorization and optimal substructure is the primary characteristics of DP. Next question. What is the objective of road cutting problem in DP? Is it to minimizing the number of cuts, maximizing the total profit from cutting the roads, or finding the minimum length of the road or reducing the waste generated from cuts? Correct option is option B. Maximizing the total profit from cutting the roads. Next question. Which of the following problem is a classical example of dynamic programming? So, coin changing problem is the classical example of DP. Option B is correct. Moving to the next one. In the knapsack problem, what does the term optimal substructure imply? The problem can be broken down into a smaller overlapping subproblems. The solution require a linear time complexity or the problem cannot be solved using DP or the solution must involve a single items. Now, when we talk about the optimal substructure, it means the problem can be broken down into a smaller overlapping subproblems. So, option A is correct here. Next question When does optimal substructure fail in DP? So, optimal substructure fails when subproblems are independent and non overlapping. When the subproblems will be independent and non overlapping, and there dynamic programming will fail sorry optimal service structure will fail in the dp okay next one what is the goal of the longest common subsequence problem in dp the so goal of the longest common subsequence problem in dp is to finding the longest subsequence common on two sequence option t is correct next question what is the primary use of memorization in dynamic programming? The primary use of memorization is to store the result of overlapping subproblem. Option A is correct. Next one, which approach does a greedy algorithm primarily use? So, greedy algorithm use making the locally optimal choice at each stage. Option C is correct. Next question. In greedy interval scheduling, what is the objective? So, if we talk about the greedy interval scheduling, our objective is to schedule the maximum number of non-overlapping intervals. Option A is correct here. And the next question is, what is the main purpose of Huffman course? So, main purpose of Huffman course is data compression. Option B is correct. Next one. What is the first step in constructing Huffman codes? So, the first step in constructing Huffman codes is storing the characters by frequency. Okay, next one. What does the proof of optimality in Huffman codes demonstrate? So, it demonstrates Huffman codes minimize the average code length. Okay. Option B is correct here. Thirteenth number question. Which algorithm is used to solve the coin changing problem using DP? So, none of the above. Dijkstra algorithm, Bellman Ford algorithm, Floyd Warsel's algorithm. None of the algorithm is used to solve coin changing problem. The algorithm which is used to solve coin changing problem is coin changing algorithm. Okay. So, coin changing problem algorithm is used to solve this problem using DP. So, correct option is option D, none of the above. Next question is, what is the main advantage of using DP for the knapsack problem? So, advantage of using DP for the knapsack problem is to provide an exact solution in polynomial time. Option B is correct here. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द कंटेक्सट ऑफ क्वाइन चेंजिंग प्रॉब्लम वॉट इज द ग्रेडी एलगोरिदम लाइकली टू डू सो ग्रेडी एलगोरिदम समटाइम्स फेल टू प्रोवाइड अप्टिमल सोल्यूशन सो इफ यू यूज ग्रेडी एलगोरिदम इन क्वाइन चेंजिंग प्रॉब्लम समटाइम्स इट फेल्स टू प्रोवाइड अप्टिमल सोल्यूशन ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट हेयर एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल बिहाइंड ग्रेडी एलगोरिदम so the basic principle behind greedy algorithm is to make a best choice at each step without regard of the future consequences option c is correct next one what problem does the prefix code solve in data encoding so it's a prefix code solve avoid in data encoding like uh, it avoids ambiguity in the decoding option c will be correct here and the next question is what characteristics is essential for a prefix code so the characteristics that is essential for prefix code is no code is prefix of another code option b is correct that's why it uh, it avoid ambiguity in the decoding option b will be correct like no code is the prefix of another code and this is the characteristics of prefix code next one what is the primary advantage of using dp for the longest common subsequence problem so if we use dp for uh, longest common subsequence problem it will provide a polynomial time solution option b will be correct and this is the primary advantage of this next question is which of the following is a greedy algorithm for a coin changing problem correct option is option a using the largest denomination first option a will be correct here and the next question is what does the term memorization means in the context of dynamic programming so memorization means storing pre computed value to avoid redundant solution option a will be correct next question how does gradual interval scheduling determine the optimal solution correct option is option b by selecting the interval with the earliest finish time keep remember this point selecting the interval with earliest finish time and in this way greedy interval scheduling determine the optimal solution option d is correct next question what is the time complexity of constructing hoffman codes the time complexity of constructing hoffman codes is v go of n log n correct option is option b next one what is the purpose of table in the dynamic programming approach to the knapsack problem the purpose of table in dp to the knapsack problem is to keep track of maximize value at each weight capacity option b is correct next question what is wh which type of problem does the coin changing problem belongs to is it for sorting problem graph problem optimization problem or search problem correct option is option c optimization problem next one how does dynamic programming solve the longest common subsequence problem so it solve by using matrix to store length of subsequence next one in greedy algorithm what is the main criteria for making decision the main criteria is for current local optimum next one what is the fundamental principle of dynamic programming the fundamental principle of dynamic programming is decomposing problems into overlapping sub problems option b is correct next question what is the first step in the hoffman coding algorithm first step is to build a priority queue of all characters based on their frequencies option a will be correct here next question in coin changing problem what does the optimal substructure property imply so if we talk about coin changing problem optimal substructure means the solution to the problem can be composed from solution to the sub problems 
option b is the correct here next one in dp what is the purpose of memorization the purpose of memorization is to avoid solving the same sub problems multiple times option b will be correct next one which of the following best describe a greedy choice a choice that seems the best at the current moment is greedy choice option b is correct next one in the context of dp what is a state is it a unique solution to a sub problem a decision point in a greedy algorithm the final solution of the problem or a temporary variable used in the algorithm so if we talk about dp a state is the unique solution to a sub problem option a is correct next one which of the following problem can be effectively solved using dynamic programming so matrix and matrix chain multiplication problem can be effectively solved using tp maximum uh, flow problems traveling salesman problem and minimum spanning tree these problems cannot be effectively solved using tp only matrix chain multiplication can be solved using tp option c will be correct here next one which of the following is not a property of problem suitable for greedy algorithm option b will be correct overlapping sub problems is not a property if we talk about greedy algorithm next question in the context of dynamic programming what do, what does the term bottom up approach mean now see the question carefully question is about bottom up approach so if you talk about bottom up approach solving the sub problems first using their solution to build up the final solution and now in the next question question is about top down approach so top down approach means solving a problem by breaking it into sub problems recursively so do not confuse in both the questions keep remember if you talk about top down approach means solving the problem by breaking it into sub problems recursively and if we talk about the bottom approach bottom up approach means solving the problem first and using their solution to build up the final solution next question what is the complexity of knapsack problem when solved using dynamic programming so time complexity of knapsack problem is nw big o of nw where n is the number of items and w is the maximum capacity next question in dynamic programming what does state transition refers to is it moving from one sub problem to another transitioning from a greedy algorithm to a dynamic algorithm or the change in state variable to reach the optimal solution yeah option c will be correct here a state transition means change in state variable to reach the optimal solution next one which data structure is commonly used to implement huffman codes so heap data structure is commonly used to implement huffman code option a will be correct so this is all about the uh, all about the unit number 4 we will see more questions of unit number 5 and 6 make sure to visit the playlist and watch all the videos which are available in the playlist thank you so much